Overclocking TV, reporting live from Sabit. We're again at the MSI booth, and now we're focusing on HTPC solution. Please, can you tell us a bit about the solution, the new one from ATI? Yes, the new one for ATI, I want to show you about our latest product, latest product A90 GXM G65. This model board is based on A90 G, G, GX with a South Bridge A50. So that's a new product for HTPC. Plus, we add a USB 3.0 and a native SATA 6 from the South Bridge. Is the new product capable of running full HD? Sorry. Of course, that's that's for HT, HTPC inclusive. Perfect. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about the total power consumption of the platform? Will it be reasonable and economical? Yes, of course. Let, for HTPC, A90GX is very, very good solution for HTPC uh, or home theater usage because that's a low power consumption with from, from the South Bridge and North Bridge evaluation plus with a AMD low power low power consumption design. So with the sun as around to 60 watt or 40 watt below, that would be a very so good solution for HTPC. Um, is there any benefits or consequences compared to the board above the H55 mobile? Yeah, truly speaking, compared to the H55, from chipset concern, the power consumption should be equal. But when you prep, uh, compare with uh, uh, including the processor, processor, you consider the i3 or i5, the power consumption will be 60 watt, 65 watt. But uh, speaking of the s 2 or Sampron, the power consumption should be around 45 watts or 65 watts. That would be below than H55. So con consider HTPC with low power, cons low power consideration, AMD A90GX would be a good choice. Great. That's all for now. Thank you from Overclocking Television.